Uh, now, smartphones, they are great for selfies, updating Facebook and calling that Uber at 2am when you get in a big fight with your date at a party, you just need to get home, get you. But now emergency services are harnessing their power to save lives. When you need help in an emergency, sometimes the hardest part is explaining where you are. The technology that powers Google Maps now offers a cure. 111 operators used to have to go through the phone company to trace a call. Now that happens automatically. They can find your location even if you can't, using your smartphone's GPS and cell sites. Our ability to respond to calls for service a lot quicker, it's a really, really significant step forward. If you're stuck with a landline and you haven't called 111 before, you'll still have to do things the old-fashioned way. That's the ringing signal. But for the millions using mobiles, it's a welcome update. It's a, it's a great idea. I mean, a, a while back my mum had to call the emergency services uh, about a week after she'd had her teeth removed by a dentist. Uh, and, I mean, you try saying Whakataha Road without teeth. Uh, they thought she was saying Pakaraka. Uh, which is about 20 minutes away from where we were. There's no doubt it's a potential lifesaver, but are we comfortable letting Big Brother know exactly where we are? This is well, please welcome CEO of Gorilla Technology and New Zealand tech expert, Paul Spain. Paul, are we trading our privacy for emergency assistance? I don't think so. Uh, with this new announcement from the government, what, what we're seeing is a system that is only triggered when you dial 111, so it doesn't mean you're going to be tracked on an ongoing basis any more than you might be already. Um, and the legislation means that the information that's collected when you do share uh, your location, which happens automatically, uh, can only be kept by them for this limited uh, use of that 111 call. What do you mean exactly by any more than they would usually? Well, there, there is certain information that uh, telcos keep on all of our calls and police can apply to get that information. It sounds like a pretty useful innovation. Is this something New Zealand can take credit for? Did we come up with it? Uh, the technology originated with uh, Google, uh, but what's happened here in New Zealand is we've developed uh, the bits and pieces to tie this information in uh, and forward it to emergency services instantly. So this is technically something we could lord over Australia? It absolutely is. <laughs> now, Paul, I didn't know this, but 111 have medical staff on hand to offer callers advice. So is there a plan to have video calling in the future so that they can visually assess injuries? Definitely investigating those, uh, those possibilities. It's probably going to come from uh, the likes of Facebook and then hopefully uh, New Zealand Emergency Services will be a, you know, a fast adopter of that technology uh, when it's available. Look, Paul, I'm all for 111 getting all the help it needs, but uh, will they be able to see my browser history? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, not through this service. What advice would you have to someone who's having a heart attack but doesn't want 111 to know where they live? <laughs> Die. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right, tech expert Paul Spain. Happy Tech Week, and thanks so much for your time tonight. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> That's a straight answer right there. <laughs>